Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 is out for public beta testers as well as developers. And many of you have asked me, once you're on iOS 12, if you want to go back to iOS 11, how do you do that? So this is my iPhone 7 Plus. I thought I'd show you that. So I'm on iOS 12 right now. If we go here in about, you'll see we're on iOS 12. Now, if you want to go back, what you need to do first is have a computer. You have to have Windows or a Mac running iTunes in order to do this. So to do this, what you need to do first is go to general, go down to the bottom, go to your profile, tap on the profile, remove the profile, put in your passcode. Now the profile is gone. Now you'll need to reboot the phone. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the phone's booting back up. We'll wait for it to boot back up. And while we're waiting for this, let's go over to the Mac and I'll show you how you can do this through iTunes. The process is the same on Mac and Windows. Now that we've removed the beta profile from our phone, we need to get the IPSW file or the operating system file from the previous version. Now I use IPSW.me, select your device, then select your device here. This is a 7 plus GSM version. And if it's green, it means it's signed. It's the only one that will work without a jailbroken phone. So we'll click on this and download it. We'll click download and you'll see it's 2.86 gigabytes. So you want to click download and it will begin to download. Once the file's downloaded, I have it in downloads right here. We need to open iTunes. So let's open iTunes and connect our phone. Now that we have our download file, let's go ahead and plug in our phone and on iTunes, you'll see it will pop up and it will see it as a restore because unfortunately it sees it as the latest version. You can't, you can't actually just do an update. You have to fully restore the phone. Now, in order to do this, what we need to do is depending on if we're using windows or a Mac on a Mac, we're going to hold option on our keyboard on a windows computer. We're going to hold shift. So if you hold option or shift and click restore, it's going to let you select the file you want to restore. And you'll see right here, here's our file. We can click open. And if we want, we'll put 11.4 right back onto the device, just like this. So if we hit restore, it takes a moment and prepares it, and then it's going to upload it onto the device. It'll fully wipe it and we'll have iOS 11.4. So I'll let this go and show you that it works. The phone is restarted. It's completely restored. Let me unplug it here. Now I've put my SIM card into it just to activate it, but we'll hit the button here. And now you have to go through this, the whole setup all over again. So there's no easy way to really get back to where you were before. And you'll see if you have an iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. Uh, I have an iPhone. Let's bring this over here. You'll see here on un unlock to continue. You can see we're at the home screen. I'm fully set up and ready to go. Let me show you we're on iOS 11. So there's iOS 11.4. We're back to 11.4. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to restore this right now other than using iTunes with a computer. So that's all you can do at this point to get it back to the version you wanted is a full restore. Now you can restore from a backup or whatever you'd like and get all your data back, but that's kind of the price of using a beta, or you can just wait until the end to get it all back. Let me know if you have any other questions though. I'd be happy to answer them. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.